Oh boy. Vlog number four and another week has started. It's Monday and I've been working on another project over the weekend. I've turned, I'm wanting to turn my uh, dining room table, um, I've put a drawer in, but a large wide drawer, uh, big enough to fit a puzzle on. Uh, usually Christmas time, Christmas comes but once a year, but when it comes, oh dear, oh dear, is a saying my dad and my, my grandfather used to say to me. Um, anyway, what we usually do to pass the time over Christmas with kids at home, we build puzzles. And there's always puzzle pieces everywhere over our dining room table and we sacrifice eating together at the table to um, basically puzzle pieces. So now this year, hopefully it's going to be different. I'm going to create a puzzle drawer, which is going to hopefully fit underneath um, the, uh, the, the dining room table. And my concern is, I suppose, is the width. It's about 1.4 meters wide and I'm just going to put it on a runner underneath, um, a wooden runner. and. I am concerned about the weight that it's going to be and if it bows then it's going to stick and all that sort of thing but I'm going to try it out and see if I can get that uh, right. If not, I'll always cut it a little bit shorter and just make a short, um, put a, um, metal runners in with wheels and bearings and that sort of thing. I'm going to try and avoid it uh, as it pushes the costs up quite a bit but let's see what we can do in the meantime. Uh, I've gone through a little SketchUp drawings and put it, tried to put it together in SketchUp to see the dimensions and if I can get it right and just look at some joinery on how I should put it together and looking at uh, potential pitfalls as I go. So that's step one. The next step is to actually measure it out and uh, put a cutting list together and cut it. And then, um, yeah, put the project together. Hopefully I can get it out before December comes and the puzzle comes up. So looking forward to getting that done. In the meantime, um, over the weekend, spent some time with kids and built some books. Took some plywood, cut it in the middle, sanded it some down. Um, we bind some pages, some A4 pages. My son loves his art. And uh, so we bound some pages. Uh, took some wooden uh, plywood sheets and I sort of veneered them as much as I can in short notice and we bound the books and it looks pretty good. The first uh, attempt was uh, not so great uh, but in doing the first attempt you see the mistakes so that the second attempt is much better, much cleaner and um, looks much nicer. So uh, yeah that was our little weekend project and now it's them back at school and I can actually get into some cutting. Uh, today I actually want to try and get into and finish up my um, shelves in the workbench because what's happening is everything's just lying around in the garage. Um, have a look. So everything's just all over the place. So I need to create some boards and put some shelves in there. And uh, another project that I started over the weekend was cutting these pieces over here. And just I'm going to make a little Christmas tree out of it. I really need to focus on one thing and get it done. Especially these drawers because I've got tools lying on the floor and tools on tables. It just needs to be put away. Right, well that's enough for me. And I shall endeavor to put up uh, another vlog tomorrow.